It's madness. It's suicidal. The views from a Mauritanian man rescued as he tried to cross by boat from Africa to the southern tip of Spain. Now, today in Focus, we're reporting on the desperate quest by thousands for a new life as we follow the crew of a Spanish rescue boat who've saved hundreds of lives. Now, the Africans come in boats, often made of wood or even inflatables. And although thousands have been rescued, it's thought that thousands of others are not. They perish in one of the world's most dangerous stretches of sea. France von Katz, Adeline Percept and Sarah Morris have this report. We're in the most southern tip of Spain, in the Gibraltar Strait. Just 15 kilometres separates Europe from Africa. This is the spot where hundreds of Africans have risked their lives over the last few weeks to reach Spain on flimsy boats. Captain Jose Maria Caballero and his crew had to rescue many of them. Enormous waves blow up here because of the strong winds and the currents. Very often their small boats have capsized before we get there. The people are in the water and the boat is upside down. People traffickers provide desperate migrants with just these inflatable beach dinghies to make the crossing. They charge them up to $2,000 each. Spanish teams have rescued about a 1,000 clandestine migrants in the first half of this year, triple the number of last year. For these people in the middle of the sea, there's a 99% chance that they won't survive. When you manage to get to them and save them from a certain death, that's truly an indescribable feeling. They keep on saying thank you, thank you, thank you. The Gibraltar Strait has become a popular route for illegal crossings since controls around the Canary Islands were stepped up. The rescue teams set off from these headquarters in Tarifa. Most often they're called by the migrants themselves from their inflatable vessels. Of course, they can't give us a longitude or a latitude. And for us, the most important thing is to locate them. That's why asking a lot of questions about what they can see is so important to know where exactly to send our air sea rescue teams. There are no figures on how many people die in the crossings, but hundreds of migrants go missing at sea. José shows us on this nautical map the distance from Tarifa here in Spain to the Moroccan coast. Most of the migrants set off from Tangier. The problem is that the boats tend to get sucked towards the Atlantic. The migrants lose phone signals on board. We can't make contact with them. Many of those rescued at sea are sent back to their countries, but some are allowed to stay on Spanish soil. Some of them find refuge at this small house built by a Catholic priest to relieve the crowding at the Red Cross centres. Very few of the migrants are able to talk about their traumatic journeys at sea. I've told friends not to come by dinghy. They need to come legally. But they say, no, no, we have to get across. It is very difficult to get to Europe this way. It's madness. It's suicidal. Some of these Africans arrived more than a year ago and still don't have a job or a place to live. They sleep for most of the day. They sleep to forget their troubles because there's nothing here. What can they do? They sleep. That's all. Most of them feel trapped between Africa and Europe. With unemployment in this part of Spain at more than 30 per cent, their prospects are bleak. Yeah, special report there uh, for focus here on France Van Cat. Going to go to sport now. It starts uh, with a new deal for you for Christian Ronaldo. Here it is. Cristiano Ronaldo is...